George Floyd. On the first anniversary of his death, George Floyd's family members met with President Biden at the White House. We're just thankful for what's going on, and we just want this George Floyd Policing Act to be passed in the future. The family renewing its call for Congress to pass legislation crafted to end fatal police encounters, like the one that killed Floyd a year ago in Minneapolis. If you can make federal laws to protect the bird, which is the bald eagle, you can make federal laws to protect people of color. The president eager to sign the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act, which has already passed the House, but faces hurdles in the Senate. He said that he doesn't want to sign a bill that doesn't have substance and meaning, so he is going to be patient to make sure it's the right bill, not a rush bill. The Floyd Act would ban chokeholds and no-knock warrants, prohibit racial profiling, and end qualified immunity for law enforcement, allowing people to file civil suits against the police. That provision appears to be the key sticking point for Senate Republicans. Both sides still optimistic a deal can be struck despite missing the White House's deadline. I stand here to renew the commitment that we will get this bill on President Biden's desk. Across the nation, state lawmakers have introduced 3,000 policing-related bills, and more than 30 states have enacted new police oversight laws. Many of those new laws an answer to the outcries for justice for what happened in Minneapolis one year ago today. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham suggested that citizen lawsuits against police departments could be allowed, but only in cases where a death or serious bodily injury occurred. No response yet from Democrats on the potential compromise.